Welcome to DIYPhotoBits.com and to this video about how to use my free tethered shooting script. First we need to make a folder to store the images as they are downloaded. So let's put this in the root of the C drive, it's a convenient place. If you're using Lightroom you'll be using this folder as the source of the importing. But if you are just using Bridge then you can view them directly in this folder and then you can move them as you need after you've finished your session. So there we go, we have a folder called C Tethered. And what we need now is the script. So go over to my website, diyphotobits.com, and find the post called Free Tethered Shooting Script for Nikon. This is the, the first simple basic version of the script. I've made a couple of others since then but this is the basic one which is what most people need here's the download link click on that and save the file so let's save this directly into the location it needs to go which will be the C tethered folder it doesn't matter really where you put the script but putting them all together in the same folder makes it easier to find things afterwards so I'm looking in the C tethered folder now and I've downloaded my tethered.zip. I'm going to extract that here to get the program files out. And here we have them. We've got tethered.cmd, which is the actual script you need to run. And then um, the rest of the script is in a separate file down here. The last object is uh, weareautomation.dll which is a Microsoft supplied DLL. You can get that directly from Microsoft.com if you care to. So we can throw away the zip file now. And what we have here is our tethered.cmd. So the next thing you need to do is to actually connect your camera. So the camera will be connected via a USB cable the longest cable you can get the better if you can't get a very long USB cable then you can use USB extender cables but you need to get good quality ones I've found with cheapy cables that even a short extension of one yard or one meter won't work very well it won't reliably connect if you want to get a long connection then you want to get a good quality cable or good quality extenders so you plug the, the camera into the computer as normal by the USB connection, turn the camera on, and your PC will recognize that your camera is connected. You'll get a prompt similar to this, which you don't need to use. You can cancel this prompt. But that does give you a good indication that the computer has recognized that there's a camera connected. Now, when you run the tether.cmd it will prepare to download from your camera if you have more than one device connected to your computer that can make images for example you might have a scanner and also a camera then when you run this you will be given a choice to choose which one whether you want the scanner or the camera but if as in this example there is only one device connected the script will start immediately without prompting you So here the script is running and it recognizes what kind of device is connected. In this case it's a D300 and it reminds you where the files are going to be saved. See tethered. So the next part goes to the camera. All you need to do is to take a photograph with the camera. I'm going to be difficult here and take a photograph of the screen. Then within a few seconds the image has been downloaded and it does tell you where it has downloaded it and the name of the file. Obviously we want to look at that as soon as we can. If I go into that folder in Bridge and there you can see the image that I've just taken. Now let's take another one. I'm going to point the camera at the screen Take another shot and there it's downloaded and can be viewed inside Bridge.
And there it is. When you've finished, all you need to do is press control break in this window or merely close the window by clicking on that little cross there. Everything for this script is stored in the same folder here, so there's no separate installation or uninstallation. I hope you found this useful. Please stop by my blog and leave a comment to let me know if you've used this.